Hi, everybody. This week, your assignment is about musical influences. All musicians, in fact, all artists and all people have influences. Influences are other people who affected a person's work or life. In expanding our listening, knowing about influences is maybe the most important question. I grew up liking the Rolling Stones. They named themselves after a song by a blues artist named Muddy Waters. Muddy Waters has become one of my favorite artists. If you like someone's music, wouldn't you think you might also like the music they like? When I type the name of any musician or group I've seen in your playlists, plus the words musical influences, I've gotten thousands of pages of results and usually very useful answers on the first page I find. This week, you'll type artist name, musical influences into browser tabs and write down results. I'm interested to see how many different artists you find and how different those artists might be from each other once you've done this process. So let's get started. Pick an artist on your playlist. Open a tab on your Google browser. Type that artist's name and the words musical influences. Write down three or more artists you find. So I'm going to do Black Eyed Peas, because I've seen that on many playlists. Black Eyed Peas Musical Influences. And look what I find. Just right at the top of the first page. Over 2 million results. I'm no good at math, but that looks like over 2 million results. And the influencers are these people, A Tribe Called Quest, Lauren Hill, and Fuji's. I'm going to go back. What I did was just copy and paste. Look at that. Pick one of the influences you found when answering the first question. Open a tab on your Google browser. Type that artist's name and the words musical influences. Write down three or more artists you find. I'll pick Lauren Hill. And I'll go there. And then I'll go Lauren Hill and musical influences. Oh, there it is. So I had to look down the page a little way, but there's Lauren Hill influences on something called Schmoop. So who knows how great this is, but look, Prince, Aretha Franklin, Billie Holiday. Can I copy and paste them? I think I can. And then let's take Billie Holiday and copy it. And you'll see why, because the next one is to pick an influence you found when answering the second question. Open a tab on Google Browser. Type that artist's name in the words musical influences. Write down three or more artists you find. All right, let's do it. And we're going to go Billie Holiday. And we're going to go musical influences. Okay, so the answer is right here. Holiday's real vocal influence is Louis Pops Armstrong. She heard his Hot Five numbers and is clearly an Armstrong-inspired singer. So maybe I'll just do one, since there's only one right there. And I'll go Louis Pops Armstrong. That'll be fine for now. And now I hit Submit. OK, so let's review what we've done. We started with the Black Eyed Peas, and we found out that all these people influenced them. 
So we have all these ideas for people to listen to just for, from asking the question. Then we looked at an influence of the influence. There's Lauren Hill. And we're going back even farther. Aretha Franklin from the 1960s. Billie Holiday from the 1930s. Prince from the 1990s, 80s. And now we go back even a generation further from there. And there's Billie Holiday. And who did she listen to? And you can see how with some searches, you might get all the way back to Mozart, to Beethoven, all the way from an artist you like right now and uh, where they came from. Okay, thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.